Hello students, my name is Bhagiri Khan from Anjou Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the my online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning subject. Today I discuss the chapter Mode Analysis Numerical. In this chapter, in this uh, lecture, we will discuss numerical based on Mode Analysis and is a very very important numerical which uh, clear the, all the fundamentals of refrigeration and air conditioning system whole subject. Okay, so let's start to discuss this chapter. First, in this numerical, is given data is that an office called sitting 25 occupants. Okay, first understand 25 occupants sitting inside the room and maintain temperature, required temperature or maintain temperature or we can say desired temperature is 24 degree centigrade dBT and 50% relating humidity with the RH. The outside condition or atmospheric condition 28 degree centigrade weight body temperature. The various modes in the office are given that the solar heat gain, that means the from sun, the heat gain is uh, 9120 volt. Second is sensible heat gain per occupant is 90 volt. Latent heat gain per person occupant is 105 volt. Lightning load, there is a 2300 volt. And sensible heat gain load, heat load from the other sources is 11,630 volt and 6 is infiltra infiltration load that is 14 meter cube per meter infiltration load. First of all, we understand which load is comes into the sensible and which load comes into the latent heat, which is already explained in the previous lecture that is the load analysis lecture part 1. So, first we understand the solar heat gain which comes into the sensible, sensible heat gain which comes into the sensible heat. Latent heat load is comes under the latent heat load, lightning load is comes into the sensible heat gain and sensible heat load which comes from source is considered in the sensible heat gain. Next, infiltration load which is 14 meter to per minute that is the air velocity which comes inside the room through so the cracks or window or door opening or closing. Okay. So, infiltration meaning is there he, because air which have a latent heat and sensible heat load with the infiltration load. That's why it's uh, divided into two parts, infiltration load. Assuming, next condition is assuming 40% fresh air and 60% recirculated, that means the ventilation of air passing through the evaporator coil and the bypass factor of coil is 0.15. Determine the new point temperature of coil and capacity of the plant or AC. For this, we explain this uh, by this diagram, the outside air, that is the condition number one, which comes into the uh, mixing chamber, where mix of okay, 60% of recirculated air and 40% of pressure is mixed in mixing chamber. Then, this mixing air is uh, passing through the cooling coil, because temperature is uh, required temperature is low compared to the outside air, that means so this coil is a cooling coil. After this cooling coil, the cold air is supplied to the room and then after the room, the heat is taken from the room. Heat is taken from the room and again we supply to the mixing chamber. So the whole cycle is worked like this. Okay. So first conditions are given that uh, outside condition and inside condition which we want to maintain. So first we draw the, this condition, that is the outside condition, this is the point number one and the required condition that is a point number 2 on the psychometric chart. On the psychometric chart. So, first point to how to locate the point first. Point can locate because condition is given that dry bulb temperature is the vertical line of the psychometric chart and white bulb temperature is the inclined line of the psychometric chart. These both lines are crossed at a point that is known as a inlet point of the condition outside here. Okay. Next, and we calculate the specific volume, enthalpy, uh, etc. required condition at this point number 1. Again, next next processor is point, look at point number 2 on the psychometric chart corresponding to the driver temperature 24 degree centigrade which is the vertical line, vertical line and relative humidity that is the 50% that is the curve line parallel to the saturation curve and locate the point number 2 on the psychometric chart and join this uh, one to two point line and we can uh, we obtain the enthalpy at point 1 and point 2 and we obtain a specific volume at point 1 and point 2. 
So here I am drawing a psychometric chart located point one lens. This is the upper point one. There is an inclined line according to the thirty four degree centigrade, and this is the upper. Uh, this is our inclined line. This is our vertical line. These two lines are cross and this intersect at point number one. That is the point number one. Here I calculate the entrance pH when there is a ninety kilojoule per kg. So point number one is located. Next room condition is a twenty four degree DVT and fifty percent RH. Point number one. There is a twenty four degree centigrade. This is our point number two. This is our point number two. Point number two is how to locate. So, 24 degree driver temperature is given, and this is our the RH line. This is the our RH line. This RH line intersect at point number two and locate point number two, and calculate H2 that is the 48 kilojoule here, kilojoule per kg here. So, we calculate point one and point two. So, here I form psychometric chart. First, we calculate specific volume of air at point number two. There is a 0.9 meter cube per kg of dry air. How to calculate point one? So first we locate point one in psychometric chart. An inclined line, inclined line which shown in this diagram, which gives the specific volume that is a 0.9 meter cube per kg of dry air. Next is enthalpy at point one, that is a 90 kilojoule per kg of dry air. Next is enthalpy at point two, which is uh, located in the psychometric chart, that is a 48 kilojoule per kg of dry air. Next enthalpy at point F. How to uh, how to locate point F? Draw a vertical line from point one and draw a horizontal line from point two. These both lines are intersect at A. That is the point A. And at corresponding to point A, we calculate enthalpy of point A. That is a fifty nine point kilojoule per kg of dry air. Next is mass of infiltrated air. How to calculate mass of infiltrated air? That is the total volume which is given, 14 pound meter cube per minute, and specific volume of air that is 0.9 hectopascal per meter per minute. That is the uh, mass of infiltrated air which comes inside the room. That is a 15.56 kg per minute comes into the room. Next, sensible heat gain due to infiltration air. The mass of infiltration air into H A. Minus H two, H A minus H two. So sensible heat gain due to infiltration air is is fifteen point five six mass of air fifty nine. This is the H A, which is calculated, which is taken from the psychometric chart. Forty eight is taken from the psychometric chart corresponding to point two. So value is the one seventy one point one six kilojoule per minute, or in converted into the board, there is a uh, Twenty-eight hundred fifty-three. Yeah. Similarly, we calculate or uh, we calculate for the latent heat, mass of air, infiltrated air, H one minus H one. So one to two in graph, this one to A, one to A is give latent heat because here no temperature is changing at thirty-four degree temperature, but specific humidity is decreases here W one or here W a specific humidity is decreases. That's why one to A plus is latent heat. And two to A is a sensible heat because here temperature is forty four to twenty four. That's why the sensible heat is also to a picture. So put the value and we calculate latent heat gain because infiltration is eight thousand thirty nine. Next is total sensible heat gain from from the occupant is equal to uh, per per person heat into number of occupant into the room. Per person is equal ninety. What that is given into the numerical already given data and 25 any date for occupant sitting in the room. That's why total heat is uh, 2250. Next is total heat gain from the occupant QL. QL is the latent heat per person which is given into the uh, numerical and number of occupants into the room. That is a 105 into 250. That is the total heat gain from the occupant. Now. Next is total sensible heat gain into the room. So calculate total amount of heat which is comes inside the room. Calculate it. Uh, room sensible heat is equal to solar heat gain from from solar which is given into the numerical in given data. Uh, sensible heat gain due to infiltration we already calculated and uh, plus sensible heat gain from occupant we already calculated in previous slide. 
sensible heat gain into lightening which is given into the numerical sensible heat gain from the other sources which is already given into the uh, numerical so uh, addition of this total heat is known as room sensible heat okay so final room sensible heat is 28.153 kilo now total heat gain into in the room is similar like room latent heat latent heat gain due to infiltration and because it uh, Formulate with the infiltration plus latent heat gain from the occupant. So, addition of this both latent heat, so the final uh, heat is from 10.664 kilo. Volt. Next is we know the room sensible heat factor. We know the formula of room sensible heat factor. Room sensible heat factor divided by total heat. That is a room sensible heat divided by total heat. Total heat means room sensible heat plus addition of room sensible heat plus room latent heat. So, final. Sensible heat factor is 0.725. Next, this room sensible heat factor mark on the psychometric chart, which is a, a vertical line, vertical line on the coordinates left and right hand side of coordinate in the uh, psychometric chart, mark point 0 0.725. Okay, and from this point, draw a line to the reference. Point or alignment circle join this line. Now, what is the reference point for thermal comfort or comfortness? 26 degree thermal temperature and 50 percent relative humidity. That is the reference point. Join this both point and we obtain a one line that is a room sensible heat factor lines. Okay, next from this line we join another parallel line from point 2 to up to a saturation curve, up to a saturation curve, which these lines are parallel to the this uh, room sensible factor line. Okay. Next procedure is since 40 percent is fresh air and 60 percent is recirculated air is passed to the evaporator coil. Therefore, mark a mixing point which is on the line one to two. This is line on on one to two. Mixing point. The name is point number three. How to locate point number 3 in the line 1 to 2? The point between point 1 to 2. The length of 2 to 3 is what? It is equal to length of 2 to 1, total length, which is measured from the scale, the total length into point 4. Uh, the total length is around approximately 6.5 or 7 to 6 to 17, 7 to multiply point 4. So we obtain point number 3. By this point number 3, uh, we calculate temperature or we we calculate uh, temperature or we locate the point C and uh, take a point temperature A, B, C, 20 degree from psychometric charge and corresponding to we take an uh, enthalpy at point number 10 that is 64.4 kilojoule per kg of power. Next is this is our psychometric chart. So in this chart we explain how to do a psychometric chart. Okay, first point one is located vertical line and incline line and take enthalpy corresponding to point one. and this black line from this specific given that is a uh, point nine meter to per kilo drier and look at point number two and calculate enthalpy or take an enthalpy from point number two. Point number two is summation is given in the numerical. Join this line one to two. Next here. SHF line, sensible heat factor scale is on, uh, given outside of the left side. Mark point 0.725, that is a uh, room sensible heat factor which is calculated and draw a line up to a uh, alignment circle. Alignment circle is nothing but reference, uh, reference point, which is a uh, 26 degree temperature, driver temperature to 50 percent relative humidity. And draw a parallel line, parallel line parallel to the, this reference line up to the saturation line. And mark now point how to calculate point A. Point A is nothing but the intersection of horizontal line from point A from point 1. Point A and you take a value of enthalpy of point. Next is point 3. Point 3 is a, is a yellow line, there is a point number 3. Now, this is a point number. Point number 4 is calculated with the bypass factor which is given in the numerical point. Okay, 
how to calculate dew point temperature of the coil. Dew point temperature T D V or T D six we give a new name T D six dew point temperature of coil. Bypass factor is what coil 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 temperature is a T D six is the apparatus dew point temperature and T D four is what T D four temperature after passing through the coil and T D three before passing through the coil. The bypass factor for this formula for cooling coil as we know T D four minus T D six upon T D three minus T D six. As this formula can be derived, the lower difference divided by higher difference. So here, point number three: the mixing air comes or strike on this cooling coil, and after them, uh, flow to the hole. That is the point number four. And T D six is the hour coil temperature. So here we make a bypass factor formula. So put all the values which is given in the numerical bypass factor is given, and T D three which is calculated from the charge that is twenty. Eight degrees centigrade according to the ventilation condition is given in the numerical. So, how to calculate TD4, TD6? Because here two values are given in two unknown values in this formula, two unknown values. How to calculate? So here we do trial and error method. As we know that the, the point four temperature, the point four temperature which is going into the room. Now, which air is supplied? Which cold air is supplied to the room? So this four point temperature should never be less than never be less than dew point temperature of the room. Room dew point temperature, room dew point temperature. Okay, never be uh, never be less than the room room, temp, room dew point temperature, which is calculated from the psychometric chart corresponding to point two. So room dew point temperature is around ten degree centigrade. Is around ten degree centigrade uh, measured in the psychometric chart, which is comes ten degree centigrade. So point four temperature is never be less than the ten degree centigrade. And point three, point three is the temperature which is a uh, more than point temperature or lower than the room dew point temperature. Lower than the room dew point temperature. These conditions are taken and make a trial and error method and calculate the. Temperature T D six is seven point three degree centigrade and T D four is ten point four degree centigrade. So by trial and method, we calculate the coil temperature and room supply air temperature. Now calculate the capacity of the plant. Okay. From psychometric chart, we find the enthalpy at point four, that is the H four, that is twenty nine kilo uh, kilo joule per kg Kelvin, because this T D four located in the chart and we uh, obtain the enthalpy. Corresponding to the point four twenty nine kilojoule per kg square. Next enthalpy point three, which is already we calculated. Next is mass of air in the room. How much amount of mass of air in the room? That is given by this formula. Mass of air, that is the total room heat, total room heat which comes inside the room, divided by total removed from total heat removed from the room. By this we calculate the mass of air. So R S H F or plus R L F room sensible heat plus room retaining heat is the total room heat divided by total heat. How much amount of total heat is removed? The H four which is comes into the room and then we add H two that is outside. Okay. So put uh, the all the values and calculate the mass of air entering into the room. That is a one twenty two point five eight kg. Per minute, kg per minute. Now, capacity of plant. How to calculate the capacity of plant? Mass of air into H3 minus H4. H3 is what? The mixing air which is strike on the coil after removing its heat supplied to the room, and H4 is the after coil temperature. The capacity of plant is this by putting all the values, and we got uh, 4388.4 kilojoule per minute. Or many times the capacity of plant. This capacity of plant is converted into tonnage. Tonnage equation. So that's why we divided by the uh, 210 or 3.5 kilowatts. So we obtain 20.9 kilowatts. 